Hello everybody, this is Stark is a free productions here, welcoming you back to the Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets PS1 walkthrough. I'll try not to say Sorcerer's Stone because I've already done that. Now this door over here is only one way, so you can't access it from this way, you have to access it from another way. Don't know why that is, but yeah. Anyway, on we go. And yes, wrong ways is around for me, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I think these people were definitely the people that were involved with uh, with making the game, because in the ending credits, um, in the ending credits it said a bunch of names by the side of these pictures. Oh, we just took a picture. Hey, take a picture of me now! There we go. Right, okay, right. So yes, we gotta go in here, and I might not have this auto save thing on the, on all the time because, yeah, it can cause problems if the audio gets stuck because the game will try to load the auto save and won't be able to. So yeah, believe me, I know this game very well and the first one as well. So you know, come on. Yeah, some books we need to take care of, but. Well, we need to take care of them because they have house points. And house points are a good thing. I think this one's the most annoying, but... Oh! I can't even target you. Get over here. Damn it. Oh, I thought I... Ugh. Oh, damn it, damn it. No. Oh. This is so annoying! Why did Argonaut do this? Come on! For God... For God's sake! Come on! Stupid... Oh, this is so ridiculous! Uh. Yeah, thanks a fucking lot for cooperating with me. Right, now that frustration's over. It's time to continue on. And, uh, so as I was saying in the last part about the different people who narrate, the two different people who narrated the versions of this game, I mean, I don't know about the Japanese version because. Even though there is a Japanese version, I haven't I haven't tried this, and might not be all that easy to get hold of. But anyway, yeah, uh, yeah, I think I prefer Jim Dale over Stephen Fry because even though Jim Dale talks a bit quieter, he doesn't put as much effort into pronouncing words as Stephen Fry does, and that kind of thing annoys me. You know, so... Now, one thing in the first game... Uh, in the first game, all the cards had different pictures depending on... Well, all had different pictures of who the cards were for, whereas in this game, they all have th exactly the same picture, which is Merlin. Bertie Bot. Yeah, Bertie Bot. And, um... And the music starts up again, and we get given more beans. And, uh... It's pretty good. Um... Yeah. One thing I always used to think... Well... Well, as I said in my previous walkthrough... Probably not, I've watched my previous walkthrough because it's not very popular at the moment, and I don't know if this is going to be popular either because I haven't... I haven't uploaded it yet, but... <coughs> in the previous walkthrough... I said that I didn't like, I didn't like Harry Potter until 2007. So therefore, that'll be the first time I play the uh, Sorcerer's Stone PS1 or Philosopher's Stone, depending on what part of the world you're from. Um, yeah, and in the oh, oh, for God's sake, I forgot what I was gonna say. Think, think, think. This lot cuts office. I'm surprised he can get his big head through the door. 
Yeah, we can't get into... Well, you can get into there, but... Don't do it until later. Oh, I was going to say something about about the first game, but... Ugh, I've forgotten. Oh, yes, now I remember. I used to think that... Well... I remember in 2007 I, I saw a FIFA game advertised and... Uh, it said EA Sports, and I thought EA was a was some kind of sports association. And then, what well, I saw it on the Harry Potter, well, I saw it on the first game, you know, the first PS1 game. I thought, hang on a minute, is Harry Potter a sports game then? Because well, because it said EA. Now we're coming up to something that's that's pretty funny right here. If you're playing the European version, it won't be funny. But anyway, here we go. Password. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is not the password. Oh no! We don't know the password for the pig. <laughs> now we won't get the password. We're here to get the password. Oh, fine. The pink lady. <laughs> 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 So hang on a minute. Were the developers worried about offending fat American people? <laughs> it's just so funny that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the pink lady. <laughs> sent a letter today to Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore. It's my application to join the Headless Hunt. In fact, as I was telling your friend Hermione Granger, joining the Headless Hunt has been a dream of mine for some time. Is Hermione here? Of course. Be careful, though. There are some rather mischievous books around. Use your knockback jinx to put them in their place. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we can now use our knockback jinx again. We're introduced to it. We're introduced to the jinx for the third time in this game so far. Oh, don't fall off, Harry. I need to get over there. Right. Bookshelf. Ah, oh, fuck. Anyway. Yeah. But it's so funny that they call the the fat lady the pink lady. I mean, as I said, I I honestly don't know why they would have done that because I mean, in the first pit, in the first game, you know, the American version of the first game, she's called the fat lady. In that, I just don't understand it. It's just so weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, anyway, yeah, now the last part, no, the last, no, the the walkthrough I did of the first game was 15 parts, this might be more parts, well, it, it, it'll definitely be more parts because there's, there's more stuff to do, I, I hope it ends up being 20 or something because I like numbers of parts that end in in zero or five. You know, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I can usually get confused in in this area. Okay. Yep, being down there. <coughs> now. Some of the music in this game was used in the PS2 version of the game, you know. And, um... And even though I tried the PS2 version, you know, I didn't get very far with it. I bought a, a pre-owned copy from from somewhere. In fact, I've explained this before in my previous walkthrough, but... You know, <coughs> I bought a... Oh, okay. I bought a, a pre-owned copy of the Chamber of Secrets PS2 because I saw Zeppelin G1993's walkthrough bin. It interested me, so I thought, 
Oh, might as well. And, um... And yes, I only got as far as... as... as getting to Hogwarts and... I, I just got bored of it at that point. Harry Potter. Yeah, no Harry Potter is. I... I haven't decided when to view the Folio Magi yet because... you know... I need to do that at some point because, well... It's not as easy to show as it was in the... in the... in the first game, that's for sure. Right. I, I can never remember if I've collected anything in this... in this room or not, so I'm... I'm just gonna check before I... I leave. Yeah, I think... I think I have everything. So now it's time <coughs> to get out of here and okay, we have three hundred and six beans. Yeah. And <laughs> Yep, automatic save. I yeah. Might need to switch it off at some point because otherwise it might cause me problems. You never know when the audio is going to get stuck. <laughs> right. Yeah, I want to go over there. Right. Yeah. More books. And gone. Sorry about that. I just had to take care of something. So where was I? Oh, and the music stopped. Oh well. At least we don't. At least we won't be having any audio-related problems. Come on, die, you stupid books! Did I kill them both? I don't know. But anyway, let's see if we've got everything. Yeah, I think we do. So now it's time. To, to go into here and, and yes, take care of some more books. Yeah, and the music's not playing because I use a save state, so. Yeah. I hope I've not missed anything because if I have, I'm going to have to restart the entire walkthrough. Yeah, anyway. I'll oh, stop saying it like an idiot. Right. So now that's done, we are going to go over here. Get some more beans. We see Hermione just looking at that stuff. Harry, I can't believe that you and Ron are so irresponsible. You could have been killed, or worse, expelled. The password for the pink lady is Wattlebird. Of course, you would have known this if you had managed to get to school on time. Harry, don't forget to keep checking <coughs> your report card. If I were you, I'd go to the common room before Snape sees you. If I were you... I'd yes, I know, I know, I know. Take this, Hermione! There we go, didn't do anything. So, how come... Yeah, how can being expelled was... Is, why would you say that being expelled is worse than being killed? I guess it does make sense in some ways because if it's a good school you were expelled from, then that'll be really bad and it might be hard to find another one that's as good. But that's it. We are... Slide down to run. Harry, we really need to get into the common room. Yeah, I thought you could slide down that one, but... I guess you can't. Password? Wattlebird! Yeah. And yes, it's still not the same voice actors as in the film. I mean, it, in the in the first game and the second game and possibly many others, I don't know why, but they're just not voiced by the same people who played them in the film. It. Looks 
like this year they're oh. awarding house cups for excellence in herbology and defense against the dark arts. It would be great if Gryffindor won them. Come on, you two. Herbology's about to start. You don't want to be late for that, too. I forgot how much I missed her. Come on, Harry. Okay, Fred and George are over there, but I don't suggest talking to them until later on. Wow, the Gryffindor common room. I'm going to take some pictures to send home to my dad. Have a look at my photo album, Harry. It's on the table. My photos aren't like ordinary photographs. My photos are magic. Okay. Did you know that if you eat a chocolate frog, you get back? Did you know that if you eat a chocolate oh frog, no? Yes, Colin, I do. Okay. Just to be safe, I'm going to um, switch the auto save off. There we go. Have a look at my photo album, Harry. It's on the tape. Have a look at my photo album. Ah, so good. Right, I'm going to view the photo album because, for some strange reason, for some strange reason, even though you do everything in the game, it gives you 98% sometimes for some reason. So yeah, gotta make sure you look at everything and and. And yes, using this photo album, you can uh, you can access parts. Well, it's kind of like going back in time, I guess. Well, you know, just in case you missed the card or something. So that's a good thing. If you miss the card, then you can just go back to the area. So nice to see the developers being being jealous. So. That'll be it for this video. Remember, if you like it, please subscribe, say no to Starkisses, and bye for now.